Hello, everybody. It's Rick with Stumps, and I'm here today playing more Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide, and uh, we're learning quite a bit now in our playthrough. You can see that we've got Dang Yi growing here, actually growing better than uh, Jiang Zeng is growing. Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, regretting building this uh, capital on the ocean, but you know, it was uh, it was a learning experience and What do we have to do this episode? Uh, we were continuing our our voyage against the alien scum here We've got one more hive. We need to get rid of let's see how's Jiang Sung. Wait, what's this? What the what? Liberty Apparently central uh, the Ark have built a friggin city here now if that's not forward settling I don't know what is. All right, so we're going to have to keep our eye on them. And actually, that's that's giving me cause for concern. I'm going to have to start beefing up our military. Um, I, I don't like the idea of uh, the ARC moving in right next to us. So um, what can I do here? Uh, I need to start building Saito Nurseries and Gene Gardens to get my health up. But I also need to start building up my military. So I think I'm going to start to work on that. I'm going to build a cruiser here. And let's see. I need a new tech here, too. So let's go ahead and see what we can build tech-wise. What do we need? What do we need to do? Um, I'm going to need to get this float stone eventually, right? So let's see what I can research in order to mine float stone. Float stone. Okay, construct a float stone quarry. Right here, terraforming. Uh, which is going to give me a guy in well. And access to uh, biospheres and climate control as well. Um... Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do terraforming. I can also terrascape, which is going to give me plus two food production and uh, culture when I terrascape, which seems pretty cool. All right, so unit needs orders. We need to finish uh, taking out these aliens. So let's go ahead and move my armor down here. There we go. And, oh, cool. We've got a uh, resource pod right there, too, which is pretty cool. Um, looks like we can build a farm here or something here build a manufactory if I wanted to, but that's going to give me negative health. I don't want to do that. I can't spare the health at the moment. Now, next turn. So, we've only got four turns before we've got this cruiser, and I'm just going to build up a few cruisers, just kind of defend my ocean there. Oh, we got these uh, long-range alien guys. Ooh, slinging what I'm assuming is acid. Ooh, kind of gross. Kind of gross. All right. Ooh, quest received. I traded my life for my leg when I met the Great Worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt. I hunt the Earth Drinker. I hunt the worm! I have to kill a Siege Worm. Um, I haven't seen a Siege Worm yet, but when I do, I will have to kill it. Uh, okay, I can move this guy right here. I can get the resource pod. And inside the pod, we found a cache of laboratory equipment from the old Earth made with precision techniques that are difficult to replicate on this planet. The equipment is eagerly welcomed by your scientists, providing, ooh, 130 research. I like the sound of that. Um, okay, so now this Marine uh, is going to... Ooh, I can give him a bonus. I'm going to actually give him the uh, Veteran. There we go. Just to heal him up. And I'll move him right there, and we'll pillage next turn. Okay, so I've got a trade route. I can trade with... I can trade with Liberty. Um, so let's go ahead and trade with Liberty. Maybe that'll help solidify um, a friendship between us and them. Okay, what's happening down here now? Oh! Oh, it's a worm! You guys, I was just talking about a worm and how I haven't seen one, but there it is. They're fighting the worm. Oh, there it is. Yep. But that's not even its final form, you guys. There's so much more to that worm. Ooh, agreement recommendation. An agreement for the African Union for eminent domain is available. I'll have to take a look at that in a moment. Um, okay, we can pillage. Oh, crazy. I discovered an artifact, a Mobius hornworm. A hollow horn capable of emitting a variety of pitches. The Mobius horn belongs to a species of large emu-like creatures capable of complex communication amongst its own kind. Using a variety of frequencies, the creature uses its horn to amplify its distinct library of calls. Oh, that's crazy. I like that. And you have destroyed an alien nest and gained 16 food. Yay. Um, okay. Let's take out this guy. ba 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 Nice. Took him out, no prob. And I'm gonna move this marine down here. Time to choose production and dang ye. Um, I was talking about how I need military units. And uh, yes, military units. 
Let's see. I can build a gunner. Who's actually got a good attack range. That, that attack range too. I, I like that. Let's go ahead and build a gunner. Building up our military so that the Ark don't kill us. Oh, oh, oh there we go. There's its final form. Ah, oh, they, they destroyed it. They destroyed the worm. Hey, hang in there, little armor. Hey, you're, yeah, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. No worries. Woo! Good job, Marines. Okay, so we finally got rid of the alien threat down south. So if I wanted to, I could build a new uh, outpost down here, which I think I'm going to do soon. Once I feel like I've got my military up to snuff. Speaking of my military, I'm going to start moving them towards Jiangsang. And, ooh, covert agent count. You have so many spies, I'm afraid to even think about your colony. Uh, I, I think I only have one spy still. But I'm glad that you're so stoked. Your ooh. That can be researched for valuable yields. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Okay, so I can actually research. Wait a minute. Oh, cool. Um, So there's two little bars above that. I don't know what that means. So drag an artifact into this research slot to begin research. Select an artifact from below to see its details here. Okay, so there we go. And we've got the battered floating canopy. Oh, so this is worn and battered. Okay, so that must be what these bars indicate. So battered, worn, and then probably like pristine or something when it's all the bars. So let's go ahead and drag these guys into here. So I'll get 64 food and 15 energy if I was to complete the research. So let's just do it. There we go. Research completed. That's cool. I like that. And let's keep building cruisers, all right? Here we go. I'm just going to station this cruiser right here. Uh, Marine. There you go. Keep on moving towards Jiangsang. And you too, buddy. Everybody move up. Ha! Such an incredible reserve of energy! Ooh. And I've met Elodie of the Franco-Iberian uh, people. So, okay, good to meet you. I understand. I'm sure that we will talk again sometime. Elodie. All right, let's move to the next turn here. Um, an agreement for pioneering spirit is available. Okay, let's try oh, this one out, okay? All one village be. Come on, let us all one village be. Let's do it, okay? How about we do pioneering spirit? 30% outpost growth speed? How does that sound, dude? There we go. That's my boy, Samatar. That's how you make agreements. Good man. All right. We need production in Dengyi. It is so good to see cooperation between friends. Ah, a friend. That, that does my heart good to hear you say friend. Thank you, Samatar. I, too, want to be friends with you. Okay, so let's keep making these research agreements, all right? It's for the greater good. Um, speaking of, I need to start pumping out some uh, diplomatic capital because I'm actually losing diplomatic capital because I'm making these deals, which is fine. I've got the, I've got the reserves for now, but I should probably look into what I'm going to need in order to generate more of that capital. So, yes, yes, we all see your blustering and hectoring. You have such advanced troops. Oh, do you think so? Is this some avant-garde form of cultural planning? Okay, so she's not impressed with our culture, but she is impressed with our military. Uh, an agreement with African Union for Eminent Domain is available. No, I know about that. I'm pretty sure I've known about that. My agent arrived in Dengi, so now I can actually, okay, hopefully get the, uh, get the, uh, what, what's it, the, the intrigue level down there a little bit. Hey, Gunner. Get on over, man. And you, my friend. It's telling me to build a road, but I don't know why. Allows units to move more quickly across terrain and connecting other cities to your capital. Will produce energy. Oh, really? Okay, so we can try to build a long road to our capital. Maybe that'll uh, be in our best interest. I wasn't sure if roads were a thing in this game still. A wise man once said that all wealth is the product of labor. You must be fabulously wealthy. So you think I'm doing very good production-wise? All right. I like all these words of encouragement from our new friend, Elodi. Yes. Okay, terraforming has been researched now. I was talking about how we uh, want to try to find a tech that has uh, diplomatic uh, capital, right? So let's see. Diplomatic capital, there we go. 
alien life forms will uh, allow us to build alien preserves, which give us capital. That's kind of cool. Um, can only be constructed in land cities. Okay, that's understandable. Uh, ballistics will give us... Uh, ooh, the Stellar Codex, which will just give us five capital outright. Uh, the vertical farming, that's that's a little costly there, vertical farming. Um, ooh, Gene Carden actually gives us plus three capital. So I, I have the ability to build that at this moment. So I just need to build gene capitals from the sound of it. Um, well, let's go ahead and research alien life form too, because explorer units may unleash alien units, which sounds pretty friggin' cool to me. Either that, or maybe we should look for something that has some supremacy. Like, let's see. Um, here we go. Artificial intelligence. Uh, here we go. Requires level four in supremacy to build a cell cradle, which will give me four artist specialty slots. All right. Or up here, cognition. Plus seven affinity XP towards supremacy. Ooh, I like, I like the sound of that a lot. Uh, oh, and it'll give us capital as well. Let's do it. Cool. That's a, that's a win for win. And what what is this here? This is my armor. Okay, my armor is going to just hang out right here. All of you guys are going to fortify. We have our third cruiser built. And I'm going to move this cruiser right here. Just surround my capital and cruisers. And I'm just going to keep on churning out these cruisers for now. Let's just keep on doing it. Choose some production here. Because I have the energy to sustain them, so we may as well just keep on making cruisers. I want to deter Suzanne Fielding from getting any notion of trying to cause war. All right? If anybody's going to cause war, it's going to be me, and I'm going to take your stupid city of liberty. Which actually seems to have no strategic value. I mean, it's got, what's this, fiber, I guess? But, I mean, I don't really want that city. Okay, I've got a virtue now. I need to pick a virtue. What are we going to pick? Uh, I was talking about how I wanted to get to this mind over matter, which means that I can get gift economy or settler claims. Settlers are going to have a population of plus one for newly founded cities, and gifted economy is going to give me uh, three energy for your land-based trade routes and three energy for my sea-based trade routes. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to do the settler clans because I want to build a new outpost soon down here where this floatstone is. That'll give us an advantage when we do that. All right, now, uh, unit needs orders. Which unit? The armor. Okay, armor, armor, armor. Hmm. Um, just going to have you fortify there. And we've got a gunner. Oh, hello, aliens. All right. <laughs> we found some aliens there. Um, they're going to attack next turn, I'm sure, but we'll take them out. I should get uh, that uh, miasmic repulsor. Oh, we actually have a nest over here. I'm going to get one of those uh, miasmic repulsors to clear out this area, and then I'm going to send my troops down south. Covert agent identified. A covert agent belonging to the Ark has been identified in Deng Yi. The agent escaped. Oh, I'm I'm glad I put our agent in Deng Yi. You see there? Uh, they were trying to do sneaky things, but I scared them off. Uh, miasmic repulsor costs 340, and I'm just two energy short, so next turn I can buy one of those. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just go ahead and... I think I can use my gunner to shoot these guys, right? Because he's got range attacked. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, and this guy should be able to... Move on down. Move on to the next turn. Looks like the ARC are coming in to fight these bugs as well. Oh, they're going to just go hang out in the miasma, are they? That's fine. Miasma is gonna... Ooh! Found a new city for robots! The latest model of a home assistant robot, the product of a popular appliance manufacturer's developed sentience. Not content to live as servants, they request the construction of their own robot-exclusive city. How do I build robot-exclusive cities? That sounds really cool. Uh, wow. Robots gaining sentience and demanding cities. I This game, man, uh, it is blowing my mind. And I will say that... Uh, it is a lot different now than I remember it when I just played the base Beyond Earth. Um, the changes that have been made to the game are definitely, in my opinion, awesome. The diplomacy is pretty complicated, but at the same time, uh, I think it's 
pretty great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and build that gene nursery finally and get our political capital up, our diplomatic capital. Your village was ever ruined by trade. Ooh, don't you agree that we should mend our relationship? I didn't know that it needed mending, but I accept. Look at this. We're cooperating. Me and Samatar, best friends. Um... But what was I saying? Oh, yes, uh, I, I really love all the changes that have come with Rising Tide. I'm really looking forward to uh, unlocking more of the changes and understanding them better uh, because I am still fresh to this new game. The one thing I do wish is that it didn't cost $30. I mean, 30 bucks is a little bit steep for uh, some DLC. But if you have the $30 to spend, and I understand arguments as to why you wouldn't want to, arguments such as this should have been included in the base game and... You know, those, those are valid complaints, I think. But um, if you can get over those uh, those quibbles, then uh, I would say that this is definitely worth checking out. All right. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get into it. It was, it was a little bit slow at the beginning. But now that uh, we're in turn 112 and things are just getting rolling, uh, it's actually becoming a lot more fun. Okay, I'm going to build one more gunner just to be on the safe side of things and move on over to our next turn. How marvelous. Someone who knows what they're doing with their culture. Weren't you just saying my culture was lacking before? Um, what was that sound? Susan Fielding declared war on me. I knew it. I friggin' knew it. I knew that you were going to declare war on me. You treacherous, treacherous woman, you. Um, okay. I'm glad I built up these cruisers, man. Oh, man. Okay. I've got four cruisers here, which can start to do some damage. Uh, let's see, I can move you here, and I should be able to fire from there. Uh, is that cruiser still alive? It is barely alive, but incredibly, it still is. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move my cruiser here and finish it off. A hollow victory. This defeat will not end, uh, be the end of our resistance. Wow, I just, I cannot believe that she declared war on me. What a son of a bitch. Um, I probably get an attack penalty if I attack from the ocean, right? Imagine. There we go. My Marines go in and let's see. Oh, I can't attack from the ocean. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay. Um, I'll move over here then. All right. And let's see. Uh, my new gunner is coming in. I'm going to move you right here. Man, I, I'm really glad that I built up these uh, troops now. Okay. And my uh, trade unit has been recalled back to Deng Yi because it was trading with Liberty. But now that we're at war, I guess, you know. Um, no trade for us. <laughs> All right. And look at this. Uh, why is the area around this fungi green? As though there's something that I can do with this fungi. C can I do something with you, fungi? Maybe once I get, like, harmony tech, I'll be able to actually use the fungi. Um, I, th there's something going on there. Oh, really? You're just going to go into the ocean? That seems uh, ill-advised. Because I don't think that you can actually... Yeah, that, that was that was poor planning from you, Suzanne Fielding. You need to train your troops a little bit better. Um, let's see. My armor should be able to. Nope. A little bit too far away. Can I get to you? No. Two turns away. I'm going to start pulling my ships back a little bit here. Let's see. There we go. And... Good, good, good. And um, now we're going to... Move you back, and I'm going to heal you up, Marine. Okay, we've got another Marine there. Okay, um, so far, it's all quiet. I haven't seen much from Suzanne Fielding yet. I've got one more turn left for my Gene Garden. Can I actually purchase any more units? Um, let's see. I can purchase an Explorer, a Gunner, a Tack Jet. Ooh. Air unit attacks at range from a base such as a city or carrier. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, let's do that. A Tack Jet. Nice. And I've got a quest decision. The pharmaceutical engineered in our pharma lab are greatly improving the health of our colony. However, there are already a number of complaints regarding pollution from the transgenetic waste material. Scientists debate whether we should use the byproduct of this subsequent labs in experimental research or dispose of it entirely. So if I study it, I'll get plus one science from pharma labs. But if I destroy it, I'll get plus one health. And I like the sound of the plus one health. So let's go ahead and destroy it. And now I've got plus two health in my cities. So that was uh, probably a wise decision there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh, hello. We have company. Um, okay. 
so we can bombard ba bam okay um we can also use my tack jet right okay cool i've got another cruiser that was just built which i can put into service okay i'm gonna move this guy right here and let's bombard yeah gonna do the same with you Okay, okay. Um, this cruiser is going to move on out and let's start bombarding this guy. I'm so glad I built all these cruisers. And one more should take him out, right? Yes, all right. And we've got uh, troops in the ocean here, so my tack jet should be able to take them out. Uh, let's see. Let's get you out of the miasma. Have you fall back one spot. There we go. The rest of you guys look pretty good. Um, actually, I'm going to swap spots with you. Let's see. There we go. And we've got our new gunner being put into service. Now in Dang Yi, I can start building something that's going to give us energy. Um, let's see here. My tack jet. Oh, I need to give you orders. Okay, you just built a road. Let's continue building a road over here. Uh, you stay put. There we go. Tack jet. Um, attack jet. I should be able to take you out. There we go. That explorer is no more. And now we just have a cutter and a cruiser up here that we need to worry about. I think that we have the firepower though to withstand any uh, kind of attack by those guys okay so we can get plus two science and plus or plus three science plus two capital from a network um, a cider nursery is going to give us science and health um what i need is something that's going to give us energy but i don't really see anything that's going to give me energy at the moment uh i i still need to build the spy agency but i just don't think right now is the best time to do that um i'm gonna go ahead and do industrial development just to give us some energy while we're fighting this war and let's see Oh, I can actually build energy from uh, Xenomass resources, which I have. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Auto plant. Plus one energy from international city or station trade routes. Okay. That'll come in handy later. Not right now, because I don't really have trade routes. Moving on to the next turn. Yeah, I just want to see how this war is going to go up here. Are they going to move? Okay, they're retreating! They're retreating! Ha <laughs> um, And we've got veterancy gained. Uh, my tack jet, right on. I can get plus 10 permanent strength and ranged strength in, in, in combat. Whoa, that is, that is nothing to sneeze at. As per my address, the command conundrum, you need a balanced military for stability, she tells me. Why is she telling me this? Pathetic, surrender now or more of your soldiers meet the same fate? You talking shit. You talking shit, girl. Okay. I do not uh, tolerate that, okay? No. I'm gonna gun you. And I'm gonna gun you over here, too. Um, let's see. I should be able to gun you, right? Why, 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 why can't I shoot you? Is it because my troop is in the way? Possibly, right? Um, let me see. Stalemate, if I attack you. I'm gonna attack you, though. I'm gonna do it. And... Now my tack jet, which is practically dead. No, I'm not going to send it against armor. That would be a fool's errand. Uh, let's see. I can shoot you, though. I should be able to take you out. There we go. All right, Susan Fielding. Surrender now. Your city will fall to me. You have but this one opportunity. Uh-oh. She's got another city called Vanguard there. Um, I'm gonna need to pull back that cruiser. Okay, here we go. Uh... Attack jet is healing. Let's continue healing it. Why isn't my... Is the, is, are you in Miasma? Are you healing or what? It just seems like you haven't been healing for a while. Alright. On to the next turn. Your culture rate. Why do you ignore your culture growth? Yes, I know. I heard it from Elodie too. You guys just won't shut up about my culture. All right, I mean, I'm really flattered that you're so concerned about my culture, but uh, really, it'll be okay, all right? Hang in there, cruiser. Oh, shit, this cruiser may be done for. Let's see, can it survive this attack from the gunner? Oh, it did, thank goodness, okay. 
I don't want to lose a cruiser. It's too valuable to my military. Quest received. Establish a network covert operation in Central. Uh, and nanotechnology has been researched, and my affinity progress has pr 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 moved on to level five in supremacy, um, which means I should be able to upgrade some units now. And okay, um, I should be able to also start to move into uh, Liberty here momentarily. First, I'm going to weaken her military a little bit. I'm just going to uh, just gonna beat them up. And can I heal within this area here? Maybe that's what I can do. I'm going I'm to try that next episode. But that's where we're going to end it for this episode, guys. Uh, ending in the middle of a war, and hopefully we can remain victorious. So far, we are able to hold them off. I'm just curious if we can actually sue for peace now. Let's just see if uh, we can talk to her about peace before the end of this. Uh, so let's see. I haven't got all day. Uh, Ark is not entertaining peace offers at this time. So war score right now, uh, I've got 108 versus her 14. So apparently I'm winning. And it says you may be winning, but this war is far from over. There will be no peace yet. So. Maybe next episode, uh, but she's not doing too hot. It was a bad idea for her to declare war, apparently. But things could change next episode. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to end it on this episode uh, of Civilization Beyond Earth Rising Tide. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, it's getting a lot more exciting, I think. Uh, things are starting to make more sense, and things are starting to pick up. The, the, the rate of the game is starting to pick up. It was a little bit slow for the first couple episodes, but now it's really starting to feel like it's gaining momentum. So I hope you're enjoying it, and if you are, then please give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys, and come back tomorrow when I will have another thrilling episode, and hopefully we'll conclude this war. I'll see you guys then.